Hi there. This is the new Alpha ESS SMILE5 or SMILE5 5, 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter with energy storage. Uh, this turned up at the Smart Energy Lab for my last training course uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, my students installed it. Um, it was a pretty straightforward operation. We put some brackets on the wall and we attach the battery modules, stack them on top of each other and then the inverter on top of that. So as far as installation process goes, um, uh, pretty straightforward. The bracketing took a little bit of reading the instructions to get the brackets in the right order, but apart from that it was uh, easy going. Now this inverter um, is their newest model. They've um, had a previous unit which was an indoor only, the Storian uh, 3 and the 5, but this is an outdoor model. As you can see it's uh, outside on the side of a house here at the training facility. Um, this system is a 5 kilowatt inverter with 10 kilowatt hours of energy storage. So this basically runs a typical house uh, in parallel with the grid. It's got uh, EPS or essential power circuit functionality, so if the grid fails you've still got 5 kilowatts of power. What I liked about it was it comes in three boxes. So you've got basically three units to lug around. Um, more or less is what you can see behind me. If I walk away a bit further you'll see a bit more of them. Um, and so those three boxes are, uh, are easy to assemble and basically plug and play all the units together. Probably the toughest part was actually uh, wiring up the um, the switch box component which is behind this little cabinet here. Now the switch box actually backwise on this model, I believe they may be changing that in future models. Uh, so it did require laying this forward horizontal um, onto a stand. Uh, we basically used a ladder and a couple of people to hold it steady, wire it up and then tilt it back up against the wall and clip it onto its mount. Um, that was probably the toughest part about the, the installation. Things I like about it actually is the look. Um, it's very anthropomorphic. It just feels like a, a big tall person standing guard. In fact, uh, my next door neighbour uh, nicknamed it the Stormtrooper. I can see from this particular um, colour arrangement it does look rather Stormtrooper-esque. Uh, also the information it provides is you just sort of walk past it. Um, right on the front here is the uh, state of charge of the battery so um, you know I can see I've got a full battery here and it, it sort of flashes when it's charging uh, it gives you five bars so you can get a, just a quick eyeball of amount of capacity in the battery unit now there's two battery units so they run in parallel um, so they should be identical so it's five plus five it's I think it's 5.1 actually so that gives me 10.2 kilowatt hours of storage um, then there's some uh, essential information uh, on the display here basically telling me the the power of the um, of the inverter at the moment um, and also uh, how much energy is coming today. So uh, just your basic information, is it operating normally, what state of charge of the battery is, uh, is it connected to the internet. Now the internet's a big part of everything these days, it's all about smart energy management, uh, understanding the, um, the systems you have through an app and it's no different with the Alpha ESS. You uh, download the app and you can monitor it from anywhere in the world. Uh, one of the things that's a little bit different is they don't do Wi-Fi, they actually do um, wired Ethernet. Uh, so probably from a reliability point of view that's a very good choice. Um, so you, if you're looking at connecting into a wireless network you'd have to provide uh, your own wireless dongle. Um, the unit as designed as an all-in-one but of course in Australia we require isolation uh, external to the unit. So we've got our um, AC isolator both in and out. Uh, circuits here and our DC isolator, it's a, a dual tracking uh, array. Uh, interesting, what I've done on this particular installation is I've put uh, a north-south array, 2 kilowatts north, 2 kilowatts south. And uh, I just love playing with the variation in orientation to show that uh, there are many um, beneficial arrangements and it's not all about facing north. At this time of the year, which is uh, the beginning of spring, we're getting performance on the south face of this array uh, from basically from daybreak uh, and right through to sunset. So the south works earlier in the day and later in the day. I mean that's a big plus about south facing arrays. The uh, north facing array of course is the peak power of the day, uh, but being a split array that moderates that peak power so it's not quite such a, a, a peaky output um, uh, uh, as you would expect from a north facing array. So north and south are uh, equally good for this application for maximising self consumption. Okay, that's it. The Alpha ESS Smile 5. <laughs>